To find out what's typically included in a design system, let's take a look at the main parts. To start, know that not all design systems are the same, and that's okay, since different companies have different needs. Design systems are tailored to your unique products and your brand, so as an org, you need to decide what to include. Now, one of the first things you can do when starting to think about a design system is to determine the whys and hows of your process. That includes a content audit of your existing products, if you have any, and this can give you an idea of where you are as far as the first step to developing your own design system. In other words, do you want to start from scratch or use existing content? Your best practices live in your design system. And a simple design system will contain things like colors, type, components, and more. Let's take a look at the parts. Your principles and main goals. Now, deciding on design principles and goals like faster implementation can uncover shared values across your org. Voice and tone. Anytime you write something in a product, what is the tone? How do you write it? Colors, the colors for your brand and any other relevant colors. Typography, choose your fonts, set a typographic hierarchy like heading, subhead, body copy, etc., and integrate that typographic information with components. Components can be starting with a set of icons to be used in your design and code, and these shapes can actually become the components. Patterns are functional elements that all serve the same purpose. They're organized into groups like sign-in forms, menus, etc. Accessibility. This is really important to design with accessibility in mind for your users. Design tokens. This is a way of representing data that can be utilized in design and the code. Essentially, they're named entities that store visual design attributes, and these can consume data from a database or a repository, for instance. Instead of hard coding values like width and height for an app design, the values of the tokens can easily be switched when you're designing for the web, for instance, so it ripples throughout your site. Maybe specs for design in motion. Say you create an animation to go from point A to point B, what's the animation curve you're gonna use? Tools. This is downloadable and easily accessible content like UI kits, fonts, and more. There are a lot of design system examples out there for you to take a look at. One of them being Adobe's in-house design system called Spectrum, which you can see here. Spectrum is meant to provide components and tools to help product teams work more efficiently and to make Adobe's applications more cohesive. Spectrum is a set of principles that defines common experiences across Adobe's family of current and next generation apps. On the left, you can see how the content is organized from thinking behind the design system to the foundational content like color and typography. This particular design system also includes guidance on voice and tone, grammar, and a lot more. There are a lot of design systems to explore and discover. With an understanding of examples and what goes into a design system, next you'll explore the general methodology for creating one.